We finally made it. That's the restaurant okay. that we're going to tonight That's in Delray Beach. 20, R25. 25, 25. And I'm just gonna tell you, if you go here, the parking is impossible. So it took us like an hour to find a spot. But yeah. we did. Hopefully we don't get towed. Let's pray together that our car is there when we get back. Okay, we're gonna guess whether our car has been towed or not. What do you guys think? No, I and we loved good. Bar 25. They had the best slider burgers, so I don't usually eat carbs. Yeah, I eat And so too. the best pro tip for eating out is just to get a burger and don't eat the bread. So I just ate the three slider burgers with no bread. I had like a couple bites of it, but no bread and I feel amazing. Another night, another restaurant we're trying out in Delray Beach. We are at Warren. Should be pretty good, let's see. Yes, we're excited for us. The kids are really excited. They hate eating at home because we have such clean no. food, so they love going out to eat. Yep. Look at these cuties. We just ate at the restaurant, it's called Warren's here in Delray Beach, Florida. I give the restaurant on a scale from one to five, 3.275. My rating of the place is 6.5. What's the name of the place? Warren. My rating of the place is 5.5. It's very alarming that they're rating it over a five on a scale from one to five. I think my rating was accurate, but these guys really like this fried food. The hydrogenated oils were um, one of their favorites. Because the chicken was very good. It had like, um, they came with four. Then it had, I, I had six, because Carrington didn't want to eat hers. So it had six, 
and then I, I ate the fries, but I did not like them. The Atlantic Grill, that was my favorite. The food was perfect. Was, I had a burger that was so good, and french fries, it was amazing, and mac and cheese, and it was so good too. So that was my favorite one, the Atlantic Grill. But tomorrow, we're gonna go to Avalon, and I hope it tastes good, because the place looks very nice. Okay, it's my turn to rate the restaurant, and I give it 4.5. I wasn't a fan of my meal, but everybody else loved their meal. We loved the ceviche, we loved the sea bass, we loved the salmon, and Jack's burger he said was okay. I ordered the short rib, which is literally my favorite thing to eat ever, so I'm very picky when it comes to that, and I've never really had a short rib. It tasted like the one at Warren. It was like a smoky flavor, which was good, but it was just a little too soft, and the sides were just very strange. The sides were pickles. I like pickles, but with, this, with the short rib, it was like a little strange. The entire Bang Energy family, we eat super clean while we're at home. No exceptions, everything is very clean, very healthy, lots of protein, and very, very minimal carbs. Sometimes we indulge a little bit here and there, but nothing crazy because honestly, when we go off of our very strict diet, we feel very sick. When we're on vacation, of course, we don't want to feel sick. We want to be feeling our best. So especially me, I never eat carbs. And so I try not to eat too many carbs on vacation or very minimal, not really any at all because my body does not react well to carbs at all. So. The kids love going on vacation because they do get to have fried food, which they never get to have when we're at home. So the kids are rating the fried food at all these restaurants. It's pretty hilarious to me because it's like, they're fries, they're the same everywhere. But in their opinion, no. The fries and the chicken tenders are different everywhere we go. I was gonna say that the reason why we allow our, our kids to have like a little bit of fried food on vacation is because we're so proud of how clean and responsible they eat while we're at home. <laughs> friends I'm hooked to me <laughs> and tonight we are going to our very last restaurant on our tour of rating all the best restaurants in Delray Beach so we are at Lionfish which is supposed to be the best restaurant check it out hey guys we are here at Lionfish uh, the whole family we're going to be doing our filming about the train and sing. I'm on a Bane Games train. Yeah, I'm on a Bane Games train. Yeah. Lionfish lived up to its hype, at least for some of us here. I loved my food. I got the fresh catch of the day, which was a snapper. And we also got the pork belly appetizer and the shrimp appetizer. And the best thing of all, I think, was the hot stone with Wagyu. Yes. So good. Calvin loved it, Shanti loved it, Ariella loved it, Jack loved it. It was a hit. I think we ended up ordering it like four times, right guys? Yes. It was really, really fun. You could just, you can cook it at the table yourself. We loved it. I give it a five out of five. I give it an eight out of 10 because the chicken were like a little like basketballs and they tasted good and then the fries were like curly hair and it was good my wagyu was so good it was just so good i had to cook for the whole family i just put it on the stone and how did you do it, flipped it. i flipped it from one to ten i give my food a nine shanti said daddy was gonna say i really love the food but that's not true i said he rarely loves the food because he doesn't like restaurants, because it has too much carbs, fat, <laughs> fat, fiber. Fiber's good. Calories. Calories, <laughs> sugar. It's not that eating out is bad or anything like that, but comparatively speaking, 
to our nannies who are great cooks and all the food we order, uh, you know, specialty from grass fed and grass raised and finished buffalo meat, um, antelope meat, elk meat, wild salmon, uh, bone marrow and things like that. It's just a, a restaurant just can't compare to that. That's right. We are super, super blessed with amazing nannies who cook for us and we are so blessed by them. We love them so much and I hope that they're watching this video because we love you. You are our family.